A company tried to take away the jobs of workers in Longview, Washington. The workers didn't sue or beg the politicians. They took direct action. Hi, my name is Mike Fuqua, and I'm a union family man. I've been here for a couple days, and uh, I've heard a lot of people speak, and they're really polished, very well-spoken. I'm not that person. I'm just a worker from the union, and um, so I hope you don't uh, are, are disappointed. So... Here, brother. I probably won't speak like the, the rest of the people I've heard in this conference. So anyway, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even sure what I was getting into when I came here. I wasn't aware of what was really going on. Um, i got to say, two years ago, I was one of those comfortable, unaware of the situations and the conflicts that workers around the world are up against. And so, two years ago, this fight came to me in my town. Since that uh, time, my five-year-old helped me turn on the computer, and that's no joke, and I've made myself aware, and I became active in seeing the struggles that people have in front of them. I've made, a, I've made the connection of all the different groups and all the different struggles that I see going on we're all fighting the same people. My grandfather and my father were longshoremen in the little town I come from of uh, 36,000 people. I don't think there was any of this many people in my whole high school. So I'm a little awkward and a little out of place. I was only asked to go speak one time and um, I, I speak from passion. And after I got into this conflict, I speak from rage. <laughs> that um, the kinds of things that uh, were wrong in my community was a multinational corporation of over $150 billion in sales the year before. And when they came to our town, they brought a bunch of promises and a bunch of lies. And um, they spread a little money around here and a little money around there. And then, and in the newspapers and in the publicity, they would uh, tell us how great they were going to be for our community. And I looked into these corporations. Uh, one was uh, Bungie North America, 51% holder in this EGT grain elevator. They're an agriculture firm that's uh, one of the biggest in the world. And they're kind of like the oil cartel. You know, a few corporations seem to have all the interest in all the commodities in the world, and they, got, and they got a stranglehold on it. This company has a stranglehold on the food that provides for this world. And so they came to our town, and um, the construction jobs for the facility that was going to be built, there's no construction jobs for my community. They were right to work states from all around the country sending a, a wage war right right to the bottom. They uh, said they were gonna employ the longshoremen. We are the ILWU of the West Coast. We load and unload the ships on the docks on the West Coast. We have for 80 years. Um, they didn't have no jobs for us. We went to negotiate, they had no intentions of having any jobs for us. The fight was on. I took this fight like somebody was walking into my home take away the means that I had to feed my children. So if they thought they were going to walk in, and I'm sure they did a lot of investigating where they wanted to take this fight, where they thought they could win, they were mistaken. We took this fight. We didn't wait for bureaucrats. We didn't wait for politics. We didn't wait for courts. We started immediately. We hit the railroad tracks, we stopped trains. No train was going to bring grain to this facility. We stood off with the police, the county police, the state police, 
Eventually, it came down to the Coast Guard, machine guns. They came to our homes. They drug us down to the school where our children were out at uh, recess in the playground, and then threw us on the ground and arrested us in front of them. They went in front of the churches while we were picking up our children, and threw us on the ground. And kids. So we took it to them. And no federal judge is going to tell me to stand aside by the means that I feed my children is taken away from me. Join us, and we'll show you how to do it. I just have to say this. My membership is 199 people. We became giants, but we didn't do it alone. We had solidarity around the world came to our aid. Occupy, Australia, Japan. We had people come into our defense. It, it was so uplifting that we fed off one another. But somebody will take a stand, everybody rises up. 